We are going to subtract one two-digit number from another two-digit number using an open number line. There are multiple ways to subtract using a number line. You can count up or you can count back. I'm going to start by showing you how to count back. So when you're using your number line to subtract, you want to make sure you accurately place your numbers. If you're starting with a larger number, you want to put it at the end of your number line. We don't want students to put the number, the larger number here and then go backwards like this because that's not the direction the number line goes in. As it gets smaller, it goes to the left. As it gets larger, it goes to the right. So you don't want them to put that larger number on the left because they will be making an error. Okay, so we have our larger number here. We're going to subtract 26. So I'm going to start by subtracting 10. Then I'm going to subtract 10 more. Then I'm going to subtract 5. And then I'm going to subtract 1. That makes 26. 10, 20, 25, 26. So 49 minus 10 is 39. Minus 10, 29. Minus 5, 24. Minus 1 is 23. So we just use the number line to count back. In order to subtract okay another way we can count back if we draw that number line again and we start with 49 I can count back by 20 this time and then count by ones one two three four five six one 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 49 minus 29 or 49 minus 20 is 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. You'll find a lot of students starting with this one first when you're introducing it. Hopefully they get to where they can skip count by tens and fives and breaking up the number and decomposing that number to make it easier for them. Once they see they have that freedom to do that, they're more likely to do to do it. Okay, so now I want to show you how to subtract on the number line by counting up. So we have our same expression, 49 minus 26. I'm going to draw my open number line. This time I'm going to start with the smaller number, 26, and I'm going to place the larger number here. I want to find the difference. I want to find the distance. This is really visualizing what subtraction is. The distance or difference between the two amounts. So, there's multiple ways you can do this. I can go up by 10. That gives me 36. I'm not there yet. I can go up 10 more. That gives me 46. Okay, from 46 to 49, what do I need? One will give me 47, another one would be 48, another one would be 49. Let's stretch that out, okay? So here is my difference this time. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So the difference is 23. Okay, so that's how you use it to count up in order to subtract. Or some might say add to subtract okay that's what is meant when you're adding to subtract let's look at another example same numbers starting with 26 we're going to stop at 49 what is the difference in between so i can go up to i like to get to tens so i can count up by four because I know if I add 4, that will give me 30. If I get to 50, that's too far. So if I add 10, that will get me to 40. And from 40 to 9, is if I just add 9, that gives me 49. I know the jumps don't look accurate, but overall, we want the students to see the amounts that will get them to their final number. Okay, so 4 plus 10 plus 9. So I know 10 plus 9 is 19, plus 4 more is 23. There are a variety of ways to do this. 
So I showed you different ways to subtract one two-digit number from another two-digit number using an open number line.